Hi, this is Cosmic Mike, and welcome to another episode. Uh, this is Vedic Monday, where we'll be covering a part of Vedas and Ayurveda and how that relates to us for the cosmos. You know, last week we spoke about the five elements which make up the universe, and today we'll be just talking a little bit quick uh, about the doshas, vata, pit, and kaf. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of those, the vata, pitta, as sometimes they're pronounced, and kapha. These are the energies that are made up in the different combinations of those elements. And this, these, ener- these three energies are in the cosmos, every part of the cosmos, within us, everyone, the cells, every cell, every tissue, every organ. And they govern certain physiological functions in our body. And as we are born, we are born a certain type of prakriti, which is our innate self, where it's higher in a certain dosha, one of these three doshas, which define us or give us character and personality. And which is, of course, as we age and as we grow, it deviates if we don't follow the same path as we are born in. And that's where the kapha or the pitta or those are allowed to increase and cause imbalance, which can cause disease. And because they are in every aspect of matter and life within us and around us, we use the opposite qualities of the other dosha to compensate and to decrease the increasing dosha. And as you'll see in my episodes and stuff, and you'll see that in my video that I'll be doing in the next few days, because that's a much longer video. But this is what defines us, uh, vata, pit, kaf. And as we are born, like I said, prakriti. So my goal as a, as, a, as, a, as a practitioner is to identify, of course, what's at hand and the symptoms of the situation and which dosha is off balance and to bring that back into balance with diet, with yoga, with activities, with change of lifestyle, with herbs, with different things. But also to identify your prakriti, which is what you were born in, meaning which dosha you were born into. Either you were born into the pitta, the vata, or the kapha. And then we identify and bring you as close as possible to that prakriti. And in your lifestyle too, it's to be able to understand when and how these imbalances occur. So you bring these other modalities or tools to compensate and to balance these doshas. So it's, it's a going journey. It's not about taking one herb or supplement or exercising or yoga that you will reach health. It's a daily task because again, we are surrounded by our emotions. We are surrounded by all these environments, the different changes that happen, the seasons. So our doshas do change and they fluctuate. We should identify, be in touch with them. We know which is vitiated or which is gets increasing so we can bring them in balance. And as you will see, just a quick description on these three body types or three uh, personalities as such. And this is what you will find in our physiological and our psychological um, realm. So Vata is the king of all the doshas. It is the movement. Without vata, the others would not be. So vata is what brings us blood flow, everything that's flowing in your system, everything that's moving in your system, the cells, everything. The pitta is the fire, is the fire of the cosmos. And that's where it brings metabolism, meaning it breaks things down or it digests your foods or it brings breaks matter down and transforms. It is made of fire and water. Because water, because it does not allow the fire to go too high. Because if the fire is too high, it will burn the tissues within. Just like ulcers, heartburn, those kind of uh, skin irritations, skin rashes, that's a high pitta that's happening in the system. And then, of course, is the kapha. Kapha is the grounding. Kapha is the uh, cohesion. Kapha is made of earth and water. When you bring flour and water together, it creates dough. It creates stickiness. It creates bulk, it creates structure, form, shape. So if the kapha is allowed to go too high, weight gain, depression in the mind, so groundness. And this is where as a, as a practitioner, um, it's my job to identify that what's happening to that individual, how they're deviated and where they're increasing or which dosha is really increasing. So the vata is basically the catabolism, the pitta is the metabolism, the kapha is the anabolism. And the anabolism, of course, is in the beginning stage of your life where you are growing, you're growing bones, the kids are eating, they're packing on, they eat a banana and they grow into an adult. So that's anabolism, that's a kapha stage. And they sleep more, as you can see. 
So a lot of depressions, a lot of those things can happen in those stage where teenagers are moving forth. And then comes your pitta state. Pitta state is where you have desire, desire to travel, desire to be someone, desire to make money, desire to have a family. So that's metabolism, where your thoughts are broken down or transformed as such. And that's last up to 45. And then after 45 comes the vata state. The vata taste is the, is the catabolism where the tissues are breaking down because you're aging. Not only your tissues, your brain, every cell in the, in the system is slowing down your digestive system. So you bring diets, you bring lifestyle changes, you bring different things, modalities, practices, yoga, and other things to compensate that increase of the vata, which is happening naturally because you're aging. Now, it seasons also, it changes. Of course, winter brings coldness, dryness, and it brings shivering. It brings together, stucky, so that's more kapha. So you'll bring more fire and vata in to kind of stimulate that to make sure you're more open. It's just like the flowers. The flowers in the summer, they blossom. They increase because the heat, the pitta in them is transforming the seed into the plant. So as you understand this in my detailed videos, you'll get to understand which foods, which plants, which herbs, how to take, when to take, how much to take. Because everything and everything cannot be good for everyone. This is Causing Mike. Hope you like this and hope you um, check out my blog and my uh, YouTube videos on the doshas. Uh, next you know, on Wednesday, we'll be interviewing and talking to someone about probiotics. I'm sure a lot of you are taking probiotics. So we'll be doing that at 6 o'clock live uh, this Wednesday. Tune in. Thank you very much. Like us, please. Give us some comments. We'll see you next. Bye.